morning everyone this is CY once again thank you for joining me this morning um, this morning when I use the uh, Barsetto uh, Bay O2 to make my uh, daily cup of coffee uh, morning coffee especially um, the clean me or the skill me uh, button actually started to flash and when I power off the machine uh, this indicator light is off again so that actually is a rem reminder that we have to start to um, engage the uh, cleaning cycle um, according to the uh, user manual, it stated that the uh, it's recommended that you clean, uh, do a cleaning of the machine. I think when they say cleaning, it's referring to descaling because it uses thermal block. So descale is actually pretty important. And it's recommended that you descale every four to six months, at least once, uh, even without the uh, indicator light switching on. And then I think, um, let me check. It is stated also... Uh, the system will also recommend cleaning when it detects that the flow of the water reaches 15 litre. So again, the uh, indicator clean the scale light will actually start to flash. And uh, you can actually uh, engage the cleaning cycle manually. So today I'm going to share with you how do I actually engage the uh, cleaning cycle and what sort of uh, material I use to uh, do the scaling. Right? So let's, let's get started. And before we start to engage the cleaning cycle, there's a few materials that you need to prepare. So you can see I've uh, put two of the milk pitcher here. It's recommended that uh, you put a container that can contain up to one liter of water. But uh, I think my milk pitcher should be able to take up to 600 to 700 ml on this one. This one may be about 400 to 500 ml. So uh, I get a bucket ready at the side just in case it started to overflow and can quickly switch it out. Right, so and um, you can use three descale agent. You can use uh, something that I prepared today, like a descaling tablets, right? So it come in tablet form, and uh, I'll be using hot water here to dissolve the tablet. Right, so let's wait for it to dissolve totally, and then I'm going to empty into the water tank at the back. It is also recommended that uh, there's a minimum of one liter water inside the water tank before you engage your cleaning cycle. And uh, okay, you have three options to use as a descaling agent. You can use a tablet, you can use a liquid form, uh, you know, liquid descaler, or you can use uh, white vinegar mixed with warm water, right? As in the proportion, they didn't really state what is the proportion to use the vinegar versus water. So this is something that you probably, um, I'll probably maybe experiment the next time. But for now, I'll be using the descaling tablets. So, yep. Um, okay, you have to ensure that the... Uh, the descale tablet is totally dissolved before you put it inside. Oh yeah, they did mention uh, about the concentration of the white vinegar, right? Um, it's not the uh, rice vinegar, right? It's actually the white vinegar, the chemical produced white vinegar that you can get from your um, supermarket. And uh, it says that you use 1.5 spoon, right? I suppose it's the Chinese uh, porcelain spoon, one and a half spoon of the white vinegar and mix with one liter of warm water allow the uh, solution to totally mix and become homogeneous and then um, you can pour it inside your water tank right so again you make sure that you have some container at the bottom of the uh, group head as well as the hot water spout or the steam one to contain the water as you start to engage the um, cleaning cycle right before we go uh, before we start right um, i will make sure that the water in the reservoir is at least one liter and uh, I'll wait for this to totally dissolve. And once it's dissolved, we'll start the cleaning cycle. Right, and as we are, uh, and while we wait for the uh, tablet to dissolve in the hot water, right, let me talk about the PID on this machine. Right, this machine comes with a PID uh, uh, stabilizing of the temperature. Right, you can actually monitor the uh, thermal block when the thermal block heats up water. Right, and uh, the preset is actually at 92 degrees Celsius and uh, you can actually adjust the temperature from 88 degrees celsius all the way to 96 degrees celsius so there are one two three four five there are actually five steps of temperature adjustment of course when you adjust the temperature to be higher you'll be increasing the, uh, the extraction rate and if you use darker rose coffee you will extract the bitterness out from the coffee so the bitterness uh, will increase the acidity will reduce However, if you want something um, 
um, with a less bitterness you can actually drop your temperature down right so um, to engage the temperature right you have to press uh, the power button together with the single shot button you hold it for about four seconds the machine will start to buzz and the light indicator the power indicator will start to flash right so let's try it hold for four seconds right you can see that now my um, power button start to flash and um, if the single cup single shot button is light up which means that your machine is at the preset of 92 degrees Celsius you can actually press uh, the grind grinder button right to decrease the temperature every time you press once it will uh, adjust the temperature by 2 degrees Celsius so if you press the grinder button it will reduce the temperature by 2 if you press the double shot button you will increase the temperature by 2 so right now um, usually I use like a medium to a medium light rose so I would like to increase my temperature to 94 so I will press this right and now I have increased the temperature to 94 and how do you know uh, your machine is at 94 degrees you can see that both the single shot button and the double shot button lights is, has been lighted up so that's the indication whereby uh, your machine is now set at 94 degrees Celsius right uh, if you if you increase to 96 degrees which is the higher setting then the double shot button will start to flash and then of course um, if you lower your temperature to 90 degrees Celsius your grinder indicator your grind grinder button and the single shot button will flash together that's an indication whereby it is 90 degrees Celsius and if you further lower the temperature 88 um, the grinder button will start to flash and that's the pre that's the, that's the indicator to tell you that your temperature of the machine PID is set at 88 degrees Celsius so uh, this is how you actually set the uh, the PID temperature for this uh, bus set uh, Bay O2 machine right and uh, once it's registered right you will bus and you will go back so now my cup is actually uh, sorry my PID is actually set at uh, uh, PID temperature of 94 okay so now um, the, the scale um, tablet has been totally dissolved you can see there's no more uh, particle inside the water and now I'm going to uh, empty this into uh, the back of the reservoir and I'm just going to take a spoon to uh, mix it nice uh, evenly so that the uh, distilled solution is mixed evenly with the water in the reservoir reservoir tank right so now to engage the cleaning cycle uh, you can press um, the power button together with the double shot button for five seconds right and you can see that the clean and distilled uh, button it will start to flash as well as the button will uh, the power button will start to flash as well so uh, step one to engage the cleaning cycle first of all you have to turn your steam uh, your water or steam knob to the steam position and uh, water will start to dispend from the uh, hot, hot waters I mean the steam one and it's going to release for about two minutes and in these two minutes the water pump will generate a slightly different sound so we are we will have to wait until all the hot water is totally dispensed out from uh, the dispensation of the hot water is totally dispensed from the uh yeah you can see that the motor is uh, start to change the sound so this is what it means by the vibratory pump will start to produce different sound during the two minutes of cleaning cycle and we know uh, when it will stop when this will stop is uh, when the uh, water stop being dispensed out from the steam tip and then we will engage uh, this back to the, uh, the the center position so let's wait for the cleaning cycle so after that is done we will move on to step two all right so you can see that the uh, we have already finished the step one and now um, the steam button is actually flashing and uh, we, we are supposed to return the steam knob back to the center position 
and we will get ready for step two. And in step two, it will take about five minutes to complete. And in this step, um, the steam tip and the group head will need will need to use fresh uh, fresh water to clean. So I think the uh, the scaling is done. And let me check. Uh, yes, and there is actually uh, water being dispensed from the group head. So now let's empty the uh, water tank at the back and, and, and put a, fre a fre fresh water inside so that we can start from step two. Alright, so now we will be moving on to step two, which is a preparation for cleaning. Uh, just now step one is actually uh, engaging the cleaning cycle. Uh, so now um, we have already rinsed the water tank and we also top up the water tank and we also empty out all the uh, container and now we will turn the steam knob to the hot water dispensing button so let's do that And once you see that the descale cycle uh, button is off, which means uh, the machine is ready. So right now we will just flush uh, so that you know everything is clean out. Uh, so the group head will not have any remnants of the uh, descale agent inside. So let's just do a flush. Okay, so now we have already uh, finished all the rinsing and the last step we're going to do um, so basically the uh, descale cycle has been completed Right, so the uh, cleaning cycle is actually pretty easy as long as you know which button to press to engage the function so um, even though this machine is uh, around uh, in Singapore it's retailing about slightly less than 1002 but it is a very capable machine and can make a uh, cafe quality coffee espresso and uh, yep um, this is one of the machine with the best built grinder i can find in the market comparing to uh, other brands starting with b right so yep so thank you for joining me today this is ui once again i will see you in the next video do remember to hit subscribe to, do remember to subscribe to my channel hit the like button and uh, ring the bell to uh, stay updated with all our video content so that you will not miss out any right so and also we have uh, introduced uh, our YouTube membership uh, do consider supporting us monthly about five dollar US or seven dollars Singapore dollar and that will really help us uh, to buy uh, all the equipment for review in the future right and uh, we will have a membership a members giveaway in the future in the form of a discount coupons or some of the uh, merchandise we have tested we also send out to our members right so i'll see you in the next one stay safe